in honor of us starting our cut. This is the top seven things that we do to get shredded and stay shredded. As you've seen in all our IG and TikTok vids, the shreds. This is funny because we're fat fucks right now. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Niles Files. <laughs> Niles Files, baby. Back with another episode. Where we sniff trend before every podcast. <laughs> this is fucked, bro. You look taller than me. Fucking big torso gains. Asian big torso. Big torso. <laughs> Asian big torso. Why do Asians have such big torsos? I have no idea. They have long ass torsos, bro, and we have short legs. Short limbs. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> God's like, fuck you. Booze! What's up? What is good? So, this is funny because we're fat fucks right now. Yeah. The bulk is a bitch though. It's like we're constantly digesting. <laughs> I ate like 30 rice cakes at once at the end of yesterday for some reason. And I cakes. knocked the fuck out at 10 p.m. <laughs> That's why I did text you back. <laughs> Number seven, stimulate muscle to stay. Just losing weight in general is different than trying to improve body composition. I personally follow a self-made personalized training program as well as consumer about like at least 1.2 times my lean body mass and protein um, and it's not an end-all be-all but I do try to consume protein when I wake up and then right before I go to sleep with about like two to three more times in between to try to maximize protein synthesis. That allows your body to still have enough nutrients to be able to properly restore your muscle, especially when you're working out. Number six is tread. <laughs> the cattle gains, baby. <laughs> These are jokes. <laughs> I feel like people are gonna believe whatever they wanna believe, but even though I do wanna compete at some point in the future, I would rather try to optimize my body through a primarily TRT route rather than actually competing and then doing all those uh, stacks because it's just not gonna be conducive to my long-term health as well as like appearance. And I can already see my hair falling out. <laughs> so the last thing I want is to uh, speed that shit up. But I, was, I was looking at it yesterday and I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Number six is to move around and have fun with it. Diet comes first, but there are so many benefits that come with daily exercise. I try to increase my TDE throughout the entire day, um, and I try to knock out two birds with one stone by going out on the weekends, having fun with friends, um, dancing and enjoying my time with them, and at the same time trying to avoid alcohol. And doing so really just boosts my TDE -E that much more. It's a great time to like relax, reset, yeah. socialize. When you're in a deficit, you know, Mentally, it takes a toll. So to be able to find ways that are just fun to do, hiking, you know, if you enjoy a certain type of sport, if you're doing jujitsu, anything that's like a hobby to you, um, a lot of the times you're burning a ton of calories doing it. It's number five, appetite control. Bump a yay a day, keeps the appetite away. <laughs> I feel like we'll be canceled for yeah, that. We're nuts. <laughs> Stimulants such as caffeine could help with appetite control. I wouldn't be too reliant, but they do help to a certain extent. And I also find that keeping myself busy can keep my mind off of food too. You're just hungry all the time, right? My appetite's actually really low. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, for other people, that's that could be a different story. But I mean, I'm also a caffeine junkie, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> Clippers. <laughs> caffeine shits or what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number four is food volume and food quality can also help with satiety. There's a lot of low calorie options that I resort to such as Smart Pop, carbonated water. Um, obviously this is to your own discretion. I personally like drinking some diet sodas, kind of like Diet Sprite occasionally. Fruits and veggies, they all have high fiber content, a lot more vol voluminous, voluminous? I like to snack, so frozen grapes are another snack that I like to eat. Uh, your body may require more energy in order to bring the uh, frozen food to body temperature. Vegetables, I like to resort to things like broccoli and spinach, which have a high fiber content. Higher quality foods also have a scientifically higher thermic effect. It may not be a big difference, but it does increase your metabolic rate to a Sugar-free syrup is pretty fucking dang. Oh yeah, monk fruit syrup is ex expensive as hell though. Yo, cut up some apples, toss that shit in the microwave, Put some monk fruit, monk fruit, monk fruit, put for them. <laughs> It'd be like Beat some monk fruit. <laughs> monk fruit syrup on that shit. Sprinkle some uh, allulose sugar and then top that up with some cinnamon. You got an apple pie. Yeah. With the calories of an apple. Yeah. Yeah. And the it's nutrition good. of an apple. 
It's good, man. It's a cheat code. Going back to the issue of willpower, whatever you have in your house, you're going to be inclined to eat it. You know, if you got a pint of Ben and Jerry's in your fridge, um, you know, odds are you're going to want to eat it at midnight when you're hungry. If you don't have that and you have grapes, frozen grapes, I mean, that's going to be your next go to and it's going to be just as satiating in terms of your hunger and then you're not going to feel guilty afterwards. I have a fucking confession for you guys. I have stopped eating Sienta chips. What's I no longer have any Sienta chips in my <laughs> closet. Closet. I'm hiding Sienta chips. Dude, they're going to go Dude. out of business because you're not buying that shit anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, Who is this one person that pays rent in Sienta chips? Like, what? No hand on Sienta chips. I'm sure everyone else can, can eat them and I, f I still fucking love them. But uh, I was like farting my brains out. It looks like some people uh, have increased flatulence with cassava. I was just like, why the fuck am I farting all the time? And I was like, is it protein farts? Am I eating too much protein? I can't figure it out. Did a little elimination diet. It was like a hardcore addiction. I was like, I need to just at least like two days not eat any chips. Just yeah. like two days. I couldn't fucking do it. So I had to literally just take it out. Yeah, take out all the chips from my <laughs> fucking house yeah. in order to do it. Two days passed. I wasn't farting at all, dude. Yeah, I was still eating the amount of protein that I was eating. No farts, no flatulence. Bless up. Yeah, I'm now eating just rice cakes and guac. <laughs> rice cakes, rice, oatmeal, and avocado, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the cleanest I've ever been, bro. Low unsalted rice cakes. <laughs> just cotton mouth central. <sighs> Number three, if you've done everything and you're absolutely confident that you have your diet in check and you still aren't losing weight suspiciously, then I would check your hormones and your thyroid. I do this and check my blood work regularly. My questions to myself are always, is your T3 and your T4 within reasonable range? Um, are your hormones within reasonable range? Obviously, now that I'm on TRT, that cancels out the... Uh, possibility of me having low T, but if you have low T, that will affect your body composition. Higher T will result in less fat and more muscle. If you do either have low T or an affected thyroid, um, what could be the possible factors? Uh, are you lacking in sleep? Do you have an improper diet? Look at your lifestyle. If you're suspicious of this, get yourself a comprehensive blood work analysis and professional medical advice by clicking the link in my description below um, with Transcend HRT. Um, also, these are items that you can uh, take at your own discretion, but say that you have all your diet in check. Transcend does offer peptides for fat loss, such as tesamorelin and epimorelin that specifically target stomach fat. <sighs> Number two, once I finish my cut and I've gotten to that goal body fat percentage, I reverse diet slowly out of that in order to stay lean and keep that body composition, but start slowly increasing my calories. For fats, I try to consume at least 40% of my lean body mass in grams, and I try to increase my carbs by about 25 grams each week following the initial increase. As I reverse diet, my water weight does increase, but then over time it levels out a little bit. And if I wanna look lean for say a photo shoot, then I'll eat low carbs about three to five days before that day and then the day prior I will carb up without increasing sodium in order for my muscles to fill out look bigger and then the skin over them look tighter it's a short-term gain but it could also be very effective if you need it for a week's time so I've noticed over the course of the last nine competitions I've done that every time I get lean it gets easier and easier um, and every time I stay lean for a longer period of time it gets easier every week every month that I'm at that you know, leanness, that level of leanness, given that I'm not at a level of leanness that is detrimental to my health. Once it's become a lifestyle for you and a habit, it scientifically doesn't require cognitive effort and thus the requirement for self-control decreases. And number one, don't eat. <laughs> the ultimate shreds. Mm. <laughs> Just develop anorexia. That, there's no way that's going to the video. <laughs> I either follow a personalized meal plan or count macros. Tracking allows me to eat more flexibly. In my experiences in dieting the last 14 years, when I finally figured out how to eat in a healthy way that was conducive to my goals, I always just ate the food and did the diet that I knew I would stick to. This for me was simply just tracking my macros and then being as flexible as I wanted to be. For example, when I was in college and lived in a fraternity, I had to eat certain meals that they made for us um, and I would just fit that into my macros and then try to fit everything else with like whatever extra food I had in my fridge or with like protein shakes or rice cake. I'd end up eating things like tamales and like... I fucking Sometimes love tamales. Tamales man. are big, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Fried chicken sandwiches. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
The pinnacle of health, baby. <laughs> Wasn't the healthiest, but you know, fucking slap. <laughs> I was able to stick to it. Yeah. Now I can stay lean for as long as I want and it's literally requires no cognitive effort whatsoever. Yeah. Find the method of restriction that is the least restrictive for you. Understand that your body adjusts and everybody is different. I personally find my TDE by going to tdeecalculator.net and just plugging in my values, like my height, my weight, etc comes out with an approximate TDEE. 500 calories below your TDEE is a good marker for losing about a pound a week. Eat way too low in fats in EPAs and DHAs and it'll affect your mood. Eat too low in carbohydrates and it'll affect your weight training. During a cut, I personally try to keep my carbs to two hours before or two hours after my workout. Um, and then if I'm feeling weak during my workout, since I maybe wasn't eating enough beforehand, then I'll consume like an intro workout product with fast acting carbs that aren't sugar, such as um, Huge's Formula 7 product. Something I've always liked doing is trying not to eat too much in the beginning of the day while I'm at work. One, in order to um, improve my mental clarity so that a lot of my energy and my mental focus isn't consumed through digestion and then um, to also save calories for the latter half of the day when I'm resting, I'm relaxing a little bit more after work and I want to eat more food. At the end of the day comes around and I'm like upset because I ate all my calories at the beginning of the day and I don't have anything to snack on. If you guys want more hands-on guidance and a diet plan with flexible food choices personalized to your body to lose weight and keep that weight off, then join my team by clicking the link in the description below. The clothes I wear, they're all from Young LA and using discount code Nile will get you guys 15% off and support me, ya yeah, boy. <laughs> 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 Follow Nathan on Instagram, that's Nathan Brooks one and on TikTok, Brooks Built. Brooks Just kidding. Built. <laughs> Brooks Built. Yeah, yeah. His fucking ghost YouTube. I got YouTube shorts though. <laughs> Workouts. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Subscribers, come fuck with me. <laughs> come fuck with me, do it. <laughs> Thank you guys. We finally hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. And <laughs> let's fucking go, dude. I fucking love you guys. So sick. <laughs> So sick. <laughs> I would have worked. I would have had to work as an engineer from nine to five. I just would have hated my life. So, all because of you guys, I get to live a life that I love and I enjoy. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. Or else. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it, boys. Peace. Catch. Oh yeah.